Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to answer a question that may be on a lot of your minds as a beginner in chess and that is what books should I be getting as a beginner chess player? And I'm going to recommend five chess books for you to make it a little bit easier on you when you're in the bookstore or the library of which books you should be looking for. And I will give you my recommendations and why I think that they're great. And I'll also tell you a t couple of books that I think you should avoid at this point. Now, let's get straight into it with my first recommendation, which I think is absolutely amazing. I've recommended this time and time again. This is Winning Chess Tactics by Yasser Serawan. Now, he has an entire series uh, the winning chess series but this is the book that I think is absolutely the best. Each chapter discusses a different sort of tactic for example uh, there'll be deflection tactics, double attacks, forks, all of this and it makes it very easy to understand and the thing I like most about this book is that it makes it simple although it does not miss anything. You'll cover every tactical motif, you go through the chapter and it has a bunch of examples that you can work through and then towards the end of the chapter there'll be some tests where you can test your knowledge based on what has been taught throughout the chapter. And also towards the end there's some more challenging puzzles as well where you can really extend your learning to a further level and test yourself once you've finished reading the book. Now I love this one, I think it is really amazing, it's going to elevate your chess game a lot if you're learning about these tactics, you know the names, you understand them, you work through examples and do the tests and this is going to be hugely beneficial. Now my number two recommendation is another book from this series which I don't have on hand right now but it is Winning Chess Openings also by Yasser Serawan in the same series because I think that it's very important as a beginner to know what you're doing in the opening. Uh, it's all well and good to know tactics, but if you can't reach positions where tactics are coming up, then what's the point? So learning your opening principles is very, very important. And what this book does is it explains it in a simple, easy to understand way. I love Yasser's style of writing, that's why I've recommended these two books, simple, easy to understand. It explains the principles of openings rather than going through some very convoluted long lines, which may make things even easier for you. So. That's my first two recommendations. Number three is a very famous chess book here. This is by Jeremy Silman, The Complete Book of Chess Strategy. I think this one is very amazing and Silman is a very famous author because he is just great at writing captivating chess books. This can help beginners but also intermediate players as well and helps you understand your strategic understanding of the game which is something that, it, that a lot of people start to struggle with. How do I create plans, uh, make my pieces better, end game principles, principles, pawn structures, all of this is covered in this book and it's very clear, very accessible, practical advice, so I think this one is totally worth getting. If you get one book, maybe this is the book that you should get. Now my fourth recommendation is something on the end games and that is Jesus de la Villa's 100 End Games You Must Know. And this will cover basically everything that you need to know about the end games and they do it in a very simple and again, understandable ways, it's practical with clear explanations and it makes these complex endgames a lot more accessible to beginner and intermediate chess players. So this will help you understand the fundamental principles of the endgames and help you have a little more success when you're reaching the endgame and greater understanding. Then my last recommendation is something that I feel is quite underrated and maybe you haven't heard of this book before, maybe you have, who knows? My last recommendation is A Modern Guide to Checkmating Patterns by Vladimir Varsky. I actually gifted this book in the form of a chessable course to my dad uh, for his birthday earlier this year as he's learning some chess and he said he found it very very helpful and useful. I also tried it out too and I found I was quite surprised to find that I was learning something as well as somebody who's been studying for chess for, for a few years now. So I think it's very useful to understand the names and formations of the checkmates so you're recognizing them when they're happening in your games. Missing a checkmate, it feels bad. So learning the checkmates very very well and the patterns it's extremely useful so I totally recommend this one for you as well. That is my five recommendations for chess books that I think that are totally important for beginners. Now a couple of books that I will tell you to maybe steer away from at least for now is uh, firstly this one 
the Red Seas Endgames. I think I made a huge mistake by getting this way too early in my chess journey because I bought this, I saw all the GMs. Uh, I think this is the best book ever. And thankfully now that I am improving in chess more, I'm starting to see the beauty of this book and the beauty of some of the end games here. But when I tried to pick this up as a beginner, I had no idea what was going on and it made me never want to study end games again. So leave this one until later. It's a great book, but just not for now. And another book which I sort of regret buying is this book, Chess Fundamentals by Jose Roel Capablanca. This might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I found that this was not so easy to read when I was a beginner. While it goes through some of the simple fundamentals of chess the way that it is explained perhaps because it's an older book than some of the others it's not as engaging or clear as some of the books by for example Sarah Wan or Selman. While I think this is a great book to maybe refresh your understanding once you've gone through some of these books already I think that some of the books that I've recommended I would prefer over this one instead. So that is my recommendations for chess books for beginners. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video for recommendations for intermediate players next. And I hope that you enjoyed this one and maybe it learned something as well. And do let me know if I missed anything as well, if there's any books that you think that, uh, that I totally missed and beginners cannot go without. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and like the video. Bye!